Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Subsistence Land, or not quite Subsistence Land, more like Subsistence Update Land. We are uh, the Alpha sixty one update is now in the uh, on the public branch, so everybody's down can download it and run it. And uh, yeah, so I thought we'd take a look at the update because it really, I've reviewed the document. It looks <laughs> it looks really nice. It's a it's a great little collection of quality of life changes and. Um, I mean, I have to tell you, Cole Games, you, you never struck me as a quality of life kind of guy. You're sort of the uh, the opposite, but I will take what I can get, and I will thank you heartily for this. <laughs> no, I, I, I really appreciate this. This, this is, looks like a lot of work, actually. So, Alpha 61, the big, the big core of this change is water tank and and pumps there's actually surprisingly there's another big change but it's kind of really under the scenes and stuff and i read about it i thought oh that's good because it's going to make a huge difference now water tanks and pumps so you you have the ability to create a, a water tank it's got an intake and an outflow and you get it runs a motor and and uh you can hook up pipes but uh Players can now craft water tanks to store and distribute water within their base uh, water tanks are crafted from the bcu and must be placed within the BCU radius. Yeah, the, it has to be in a blue zone uh, just so that it can pick up the power from the base. It's uh, not cheap, not expensive. These apparently are new. This is a new ingredient that is made in the workbench. These are pipes. So the, it's a little, I think this is the expensive part. It's the power and the mass. And, you know, I mean, not too bad otherwise. Uh, inflow and outflow. So the tank has two connections at the bottom, uh, one for inflow, one for outflow. The water pipe networks must connect to these in order to be able to move water in and out of the tank. So I'm assuming this means in outflow on the left and inflow on the right, I, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the water tank HUD. So this is the, uh, operating panel in the water tank, water tank. And, uh, oh, <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. Um, yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, the water tank and uh, it does re run on it does require power uh, and it seems to vary depending on what it's doing um, and there's some and also de it varies depending on what some of the peripherally attached water is doing as well water related items so we'll see about that but this is uh here's the inflow pump uh, I'm still I'm, I'm assuming that based on the fact that this is on the right inflow uh, this is inflow here and that's outflow and that the uh, currently inflow, inflow has water and outflow is not doing anything because it's not pumping any water. Yeah, I don't know. It, maybe oh, there's no demand or something like that. So uh, the pumps. So once the inflow connector is connected to the water source. Okay, so there's uh, yeah, it can be a a toggled within the water tank HUD. Uh, the pump will draw water in, fill the tank uh, while consuming a small amount. of. It's like a cistern. Uh, while con consuming a small amount of water while it is operational. Um, and then connected base items are consuming water from the tank at the outflow pump, uh, it, which consumes power. Uh, the more, so um, this, what I, when I read this, it's like it, it fills slowly over time and then with a small amount of power. And then it, it can use a variable, potentially larger amount of power uh, when it's actually pumping water out, depending on the demand. Uh, so anyways, and then in the, in the menu, I think it's that one right here, you have the ability to build like, uh, that's an intake by the looks of it. That's a valve for a pipe. And then there's, a, this is a sprinkler system, uh, presumably for the plant bed. Uh, so the water intake pipe, uh, crafted, uh, from the water tank crafting menu, intake pipes need to be placed within a water source, river or lake. I'm pretty lucky in that, in that I literally hit my entire base is on top of one. Uh, so the water can be pumped from the source. So there you go. It's got like an intake sort of a thingamabobber. Usually that's like a filter to keep out like gravel and stuff. And then, you know, off into your base. Uh, pipes can then be attached and eventually connected to the inflow connection of a water tank. Okay. So this runs all the way up to the tank. Uh, the pipes can be crafted within the water tank. Oh, water pipes can be crafted within the water tank crafting menu. Okay, so the basic pipe is an ingredient that is made in the workbench, and then you make water pipes uh, by using presumably a pipe and some other stuff. They can only, right here, like you've got scrap and stuff. Oh, man, scrap. 
Uh, they can only be placed uh, connecting to an intake, a water connection, or other water pipes. Makes sense. Um, they have a maximum length, which is enforced while placing the pipe. That'll be interesting to see how that works. Uh, when connecting pipes, you need to connect to the valve handle on either end of the pipe. Okay, I, I, I need to see some of this in order to understand how it's going to work. Um, when moving a pipe around the network, you can either move the head or the tail, and the, the connected pipes will then ah will move with the moving pipe, allowing you to neatly adjust pipe networks. So you, it, it, you can adjust these little uh, nexus points, and then it'll bring everything along with it. That's pretty cool. And then it looks like there's, what is this? Uh, yeah, right, right, right. Uh, you can visibly see when a pipe is connected to a water source based on the color of the valve handle on the head and tail of the pipe. Pipes will also glow blue or red when looked at closely to indicate uh, water flow. Okay, which is which? I assume blue means water is there and water is flowing. Red means no water and no flow. I'm just thinking. Uh, so be obvious when a disconnection has occurred, right? That's helpful because what if you get like a weird join somewhere and then you don't really, and nothing works and you got to figure out where, the, where it stopped. Uh, the faucet, there's a faucet that comes with the, uh, there's a faucet in the front of the tank, the main water tank. Um, so you can get at water uh, access to water without pumps. Uh, it looks like you can fill a canteen. This is cool. Uh Fill one or all canteens as well as washing your hands. You know, in the winter, this is going to be really helpful because gone will be the days of, try, you know, getting snow or whatever because uh, this intake is going to be under the ice, right? So that is really cool. I like that. And this is nice. Being able to fill all your canteens at once. Ooh. Um, so, yeah, but the water from the tank is not treated, so it does require boiling. That's fine. We I kind of expected that actually, because there's no filtration system in this thing. Uh, water sprinklers. So the bed plant bed sprinklers are crafted in the tank uh, crafting menu. Yeah, that's what we saw here. We saw that up. Uh, it, you you know what? No, it was right there. That's it right there. And then so what do we got? Uh, do do do. They are then attached to the plant bed via plant bed upgrade menu. So you have to, you attach them in the plant bed. Once upgraded, a sprinkler tab will appear in the plant bed HUD. Okay. Um, once attached, the sprinkler has water intake connection. Uh, the pipes need to be connected. So you got to hook it up to the, to the water system. Okay. Uh, so long as the connected tank has water available, the sprinklers can activate be activated and slowly hydrate the plant beds. That's interesting that it's slow. While sprinkling, uh, while sprinkling, the connected water tank outflow pump will be running, consuming a small amount of power. These sprinklers can automatically shut off once the bed is full. Okay. Uh, so there is an automation for sprinklers. Uh, it uh, turns on when it reaches below 40% hydration. Um, and the problem with the automated sprinkler is that it consumes 10% uh, more power than if you did it manually. So there's a, there's a price. Um, and then you can turn on sprinkler automation right in here in the plant bed itself. And th this is, this is uh, what I was talking about back when I was saying that, you know, the outflow load uh, on power can vary depending on a number of things. How many plant beds you have, how much stuff's hooked up, whether they're automated or not. Um, and then he's added a bunch of achievements, which is pretty cool. Now I I'll, I'll start to go through these a little quicker. That was the meat and bones of the, uh, the water system. Uh, but these are achievements. They're outside of anything that's been tracked so far. Um, I don't believe that they, uh, basically they're not tied to a profile. So these are, are your achievement as a player. Uh, so that means that, you know, if you as a player anywhere in any profile in any, whatever, uh, you kill 10, 25, or 60 wolves by any means, then you can get these achievements, right? Single chevron, double chevron, and three chevrons based on 10, 25, or 60. And there's a whole bunch for bears and animals and various other things, harvesting stuff. This is really good. This is like um, when people first start playing the game, like these, these little mechanics can make people feel like they're achieving something, which uh, really does make the initial part of the game, especially this game, which is brutal, 
uh, feel a little more, um, well, a little less daunting. There, there's a little bit of feedback. I think this is great. I, I really, I'm so happy to see this. There's all kinds of them too. Um, the only thing is, I mean, I've done all of this stuff like tons, but uh, I'm going to have to do probably, uh, oh man, am I going to have to craft an a ATV again in order to get this one? Oh man. Oh, all right. Uh, base resource monitor. So he's added to the BCU a little stats button that when you when you click it, you can see where all your power is going. That is really cool. I like that. So we're gonna we're gonna keep an uh, where actually where it's going, where it's coming from, presumably. So intakes and outputs. So that's good. Thank you, Cold Games. Like I said, this quality of life stuff is really nice. Um, crafting using storage. So you now can, uh, basically if you open a storage container and you craft an item and all of the ingredients are in the container, they don't have to be in your inventory. Uh, some can be in your inventory, presumably, and some can, as long as it's, all of it is either in your inventory or the container's inventory, you should be able to craft it. Um, I don't think it's a full logistics network. Uh, it's, it's limited to a single crate. Uh, my, is what I'm reading here, which, but that is, you know what, that is, that's good. It, we, you could probably come up with a storage system that will accommodate this. Uh, weapon recoil. So he's, um, he's working on, uh, a new recoil and subtle camera animation when firing. Uh, he thinks it feels better. And then apparently he wants to add a weapon hover. That's like in medieval dynasty, you get the sway, right? And then with stocks and upgrades, you can stabilize the aim. Uh, crouching also will impact st uh, uh, aim stability too. So, so that's these are little little touches. Um, <laughs> this is funny. So, when you open up a, a crate, a loot box, um, most of us just out of habit, if you've been playing long, you just click the button to take all. But he's added an actual trigger, an R key, like a reload weapon key. Whatever your key, whatever your hot key is for reloading the weapon. Um, you, you basically hold that down for half a second and it'll uh, pull everything out of the container. That's going to take me a while to get used to. Um, so releasing the key after quick action will automatically close the inventory. Well, that's kind of nice actually. Uh, now base, uh, and, and dropped kit HUD marker distance. Okay. So, uh, he's added distance, mar uh, distances to the HUD markers for your various, uh, BCUs, your bases. Um, so you can see how far away they are. That's kind of cool. And then for death bags, uh, he's given a distance of the death bag and then how much longer the timer is for it. That is going to help so many people because this is probably one of the most frustrating aspects of the game. Um, so that is uh, good on him for doing that. Uh, <laughs> this is to prevent me from, uh, poisoning myself when I'm refilling canteens. There's apparently now a fill all canteens with water. So it will actually fill all of them with water in one fell swoop. Um, nice. I, I approve. And look at this stackable buildables. You could stack your, your foundations and your walls. And oh, that's so sweet. That is definitely going to make life easier. Uh, he's also added 40, 44 caliber incendiary rounds. And then the new uh, metal pipes that are made in the workbench. Uh, they take a bit of metal and some power and mass to make them. So. There you go. This is what I was talking about before, about it being a big thing. Now, he said easily the largest task he worked on in this sprint, um, which is like this segment of work. Although difficult to hype up due to it being a back-end feature, because he's right. You're not, you're not going to see like direct like anything as a player. You don't really see, oh, he added this feed. No, this is a, this is a nice thing. So what he's done, um, I'm just going to summarize it, is... Uh, like a lot of a lot of applications will use uh, timers and um, they uh, well there's there's in gaming I think at least uh, where where is it he says um, timers events and frames right so if every frame that you run you you perform an action every uh, and then on specific events like opening a crate uh, that's an event so you'll perform actions and then um, also timers so what you'll do is. You'll say, okay, in this many seconds, run this event, right? And he's replaced that with, um, which is very, the problem with this design is that it, it you'll, you'll end up with a bunch of stuff trying to happen all at once. And then, it, as he says, it's a, 
uh, not smooth. <laughs> Spiky execution. That's that's pretty much it. So he's created a queue, uh, which is a uh, it's a uh, the ability. So what it is is it's basically a, like a, it's you can think of it as a pipe, and you just you just keep ramming. Um, you place uh, request items that you want to get done into the input queue, and then it will process uh, process the items in the queue in a sequence. Right. And that's what that's the important part is it then sequential it's sequential and you don't get the spikes it smooths it all out and um i think he said something about like uh you can prioritize the queue so you can barge it and all kinds of stuff so this is really good i i'm not going to harp on all of this but um i'm interested to see if this you could feel the difference that this has made because he's saying essentially that um I love this. This has dramatically simplified development, brought order to chaos, and will allow me to continue scaling the game while maintaining performance. I can see that. I totally understand. Um, world initialization is now... Uh, he's, he was, he's basically saying that for the first 20 seconds when you fire up the game, uh, it, does a, it does a bunch of events, right? Like we were talking about before. He's leveraging this queue system to be able to sequentialize that and make it a little bit less poppy and stuff. I, very cool. You can access your in-game achievements through your uh, inventory menu. And you're, you used to have to change your weapon. Uh, the, you've seen it when I, I was doing it in the lava cave. Um, when I was switching between, I think it was on, yeah, I was switching between incendiary rounds and regular rounds on the lever action. And just to see what kind of round you have, you have to sort of you switch switch it back and forth. Apparently now it always shows it, so that's really cool. Uh, double barrel shotgun predator skin. So he's got these new predator skins for the double barrel, the lever action, and the revolver. So that's really cool. And that's it. So um, yeah, I think uh, man, that took a lot longer than I thought. It's there's a lot. Of, it's not. It's got there's there's a lot of detail in here. So. Uh, I think today we're gonna we're gonna try to work on a bit of water stuff. So see you in a moment. There we go, loading, loading. So I, I think he, it was there was something about the initialization of the game that um, he said it. There was some differences in how it was done, and uh, we'll see. I there it is, initializing world, and then you're in. Okay. Oh hey, <laughs> that's a, like a ritual now. Oh wow, is it raining outside? Why did it sound all kind of... I don't know. Well, all right. So, what are we doing? We are going to be working on... Oh, there's my other base. It's 1,143 meters in that direction. That's pretty cool. There's that base. 17, 16 meters in that direction. I like it. But I do see... Oh, we're going to go over and take advantage or try out... Oh, we're going to try a few things here. Let's see. Now, if we hold R... Not bad, not bad. And I think what we're going to do... I'm going to waste... Oh, you know what I forget? I forget if there's any, like, uh, bandits in the neighborhood. I, I don't... I didn't review to see where there, where there were bandits, if there were any. Oh, man. Oh, I just realized... Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. I got to fix this. I just realized. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, controls. I have to redo my controls because, uh, oh no. He, oh, we, we the, there was a game update and I didn't lose all my configuration items for the, oh, thank you, cool games. I really appreciate that. Graphic settings. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can, let's use the, the lever action to take out this lowly wolf. We can get a feel for this, uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure I feel it as... Oh, I just realized as well. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um... Oh, did, did... Oh, do I not have it yet? Oh, I didn't buy it yet. Okay. I will get it in, uh, before the next one. I thought I, I... I was... This is not how you harvest a wolf. Oh, he's got, look. Oh, wait, there's like a, oh, ho, 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 ho. I, I'm, I'm just sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just getting kind of excited. There's some interesting little things going on here that I didn't recognize before. Maybe I just haven't noticed. 
Well, I'm going to have to, I'll deal with the, the, all that later. Let's get into the meat of what it is that we wanted to do today, which is uh, some of the, the watery related things. And uh, yeah, it's a, you know what? It's the, the weather is not fit for man nor beast today. So, and you guys are probably all full anyways, because you're practically finished. Oh, no, no, you, only some of you are. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, steak, liver. Oh, little fishy! He's got a little fishy. Oh, oh, and then we could cook the little fishy in here. Uh, like that. And then put you in the pile of fat. What else do we have now? Oh, how's the fire situation? We've got a little bit of, um... You know, what we could do is this. One, two, three. There we go. Eh. Eh, good enough. Okay. I just thought I'd see what the difference was. It isn't much. All right, so we've got. I'm going to cook that up. We've got a bit of an apple here. Uh, I do need to to sort my food situation out, anyways. So how about we do? Oh, you know what? Somebody said um, I should make a, a roast ribs uh, for as an uh, as a celebration after doing the loop. I think that they were right. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. So two of you, two of you, two of you. And then we're going to cook up a nice uh, rib dinner. There we go. I mean, we'll have our little fish here who is now cooked. And we'll put him away in here like that. But uh, and we'll have that later. But we have to build up a bit of a powerful hunger in order to be able to. Yeah, he ch that is new, isn't it? The uh, the parallax. Not it's kind of a what do they call that? I can't remember. There's a name for this. It's where you kind of fuzz out the background. Um, to make this pop a bit more. It's, uh, yeah, interesting. Oh, here's your achievements. Yeah, I don't have any achievements. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? All right, now, um, that's going, it's going. Let's, uh, let's start on, first of all, oh, it's crafted in the BCU. Let's get the water tank thing happening. I'm going to need a bunch of mass. I need a bunch of power. So we should probably start working on that. Fortunately, we have lots of biofuel, uh, so this is, our timing is excellent. I feel like a mad scientist right now. Uh, he's, he's filling up and starting the generator. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's less dramatic than it seems. Do, 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 do. Put you and you and you away. And then we'll also put... You and you away and then let's go back to seeing what we need to do so we're getting our power situation sorted out I am gonna have to crank up mass um, but where is, is it at the bottom no there it is right there water tank so we're gonna need two pipes so let's start off with two pipes and the pipes are right here uh, so what is it uh, oh it's five three and two okay so ten three oh my goodness this is where, uh, you know what, we're going to do the other way of handling the inventory thing is to just split it in half and do that. And then you just go like this and you don't care. And then you go make two of them. I'm probably going to need to make more, but I don't want to burn out too much mass. So there we go. We've got two pipes coming in. What else are we going to need? Uh, I think there was metal plate, five metal plates, five metal plates and two circuit boards. All right, let's see what that's... I think we have... We have four. And we don't have any circuit boards. So circuit boards... Uh, we're going to need a bunch of copper. Uh, we're going to need some pearls. And... Got our two pipes. We're gonna, oh, for the alloy sheets, we're going to need... Yeah. More scrap. This is what I... I I'm being... I'm so... Oh, man. I'm using so... Oh, my... My, my ribs! My ribs! Can't let them rot. That would be terrible. All right. What are we going to do here? We could cook up some fish. And uh, then we could clear this little space out here. And then what we could also do uh, is burn some meat f for mass. That'll clear up another little spot. I've been not... I, I, I have too much meat in here. I've not been maintaining anything correctly. 
Now, can I eat this? Oh, wow, it let me? Holy moly, I thought I was too full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now, let's see. Oh, right, right, right. That's the sound of that happening and that happening. Uh, I'm going to actually burn all of this, too. We don't, we don't really need the food. All right, where were we? Um, we needed to make one more metal plate. Did we do that? No. It's because we have four, we need five. Ah, uh, yeah, two. You know what? Just get the... Here. Uh, we've already got you. Uh, we'll grab a couple of you, or four of them, whatever. And then we can make that. Thank goodness we don't need any scrap to make pipes. That would that would hurt very badly. So we've got you. Now the other thing we need to, to make is the uh, circuit boards. Uh, I think that was two of them, right? Um, oh yeah, we're gonna need um, some of these. Okay, so a couple of circuit boards. One, two. We're draining our mass, that's for sure. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. Three is coming in from the generators, 0.66 from the turbines, 0.16 from the solar panels. Uh, there's a... Uh, oh, 0 0.07 is coming in. Really? Oh, that is mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we went below... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's expected. And then I don't think... Uh, well, not much else other than... Let's see. The fridge is drawing power. The mining drill is drawing power. Oh, do I have stuff in the drill? I forgot. Mining drill? This isn't a mining drill. I got my head all turned around. Uh, oh yeah, I was keeping some of this down here. Look at that, we got 41 of our black crystal. That is so nice. It's these guys over here that's... What was I thinking? Why did I go to the... the the who's and what's it's when it was the thingamajig that was actually doing it, all the stuff. Okay. Uh, I should have let him finish fishing, didn't shouldn't I? But then he would have had the he would have gone he would know. He would know. <laughs> Sorry, I had to let I couldn't let that happen. You know the rules. No fishing allowed. Not on my lake. Contaminating my lake with your whatever it is that you're bringing to the party. Okay. Now, where what am I doing here? Um I'm all over the place is what I'm doing. Mass. We need to get mass happening. Uh, the reason why I was looking at this is, I, well, I wanted to see 3.8, you know, 6 and blah, blah, blah. We, I was going to turn this on for a bit. It, it draws a lot of power, but it's, um, I think we're still net positive. Out, uh, yeah, out is 2.99, in is 3.86. We're up in the 3,500 range, so... It, it's just going up a little slower than normal, right? But we're generating a bit of mass. Not too much, but enough. Um, 0.2 is from the fabricator. And then uh, 0 0.07 is coming from the, uh, from, the, from the BCU itself. In fact, we could see that. Um, mass fabricator is 0.2. And then the BCU is 0 0.07. Really good. That's, this is really handy. This is really nice. Oh, so good. So good. Are you burnt yet? All right, nice. We're gonna need all. We're gonna need all kinds of mass today. So I might as well um, just grab it and just let's just let's just recycle. There we go. That one and no 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 no. That one goes there and then the gear. Okay. 
201, so that's pretty good. Um, that's gonna allow us to make the water tank. So now all we need is our circuit boards and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you and you. Did he change the look of the, I, you know what? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, all right, so we can make ourselves a water tank. Ooh, nice. This is cool. It's very cool. I am, I'm really impressed with this update. Uh, just the, and by that I just mean the idea behind it. It really is good. I, I think this is just awesome. It's been something that's been needed for so long. All right, so we've got ourselves a little water tank. Looks like a little, uh, little, uh, little rocket with uh, some, some uh, bo boosters for getting into orbit. Now, the big question is, where do we want to put it? I think that... Uh, this requires um, processed water. Now, apparently, the, there is a... He, he said something about there being... It is raw water that comes out of it, but uh, there is some talk that in the in the future it doesn't. Uh, that there may be some filtration system that he could add to it at some point. I'm thinking though that I'm going to put this. This is something that would go well right here. I think this would go well over here, somewhere. So we got our little chest here. I think we can uh, move this. I'm not. I'm not deleting it. I'm just moving it. I'm telling myself that as much as anybody. And then we could put this, like, right here. Oh, come on. Could have sworn I heard another fisherman. All right, false alarm. All right, so and then what we can do is um, let's see, do I want to put? Where do I want to do this? I'm trying. Me, I mean, I could pres presumably move this. Uh, I, there's some weird sound effect going on right here. It, it, I'm hearing it in my left ear, and I think that's what's throwing me off. Okay, you know what? Put that first of all. Put the put the uh, thing away. And second of all, let's put this right here. Now, how big is it? Let's take a look. That's about what you would expect, I think. It's got intake, output. I, I could put it here like this, but I kind of want that spigot. The one that the little, uh, little thing... There's gunshots in the distance, too. Maybe over here. Let's just do that. I mean, I don't... I could put it over here, but I'm, I want to put it um, a bit more in on the actual base. There are so many weird things happening out there. The moose ran away. See, there he is right now. He's looking at me. Do you see that? Or is he looking away? No, he's look. He's facing away. And he's got his little head in the air, or uh, sniffing about. What did he run for? This is a very eventful, <laughs> quiet day in the base. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. I got a fisher cut bait. So the reason why this is important, first of all, what is the, what am I going to be using the water for? I'm going to be using it primarily for watering my plants um, and also as a convenient place to get water so that for when I um, take care of my animals, right? And then eventually I could run water over here. Now there is ways I could do it. I could run the water under the base because I do have like, I can, I can get under there. We can lift, lift stuff up in place and, and then have a spigot come up and pop up over here and we could service the... Uh, kitchen but if that's if, that, if that's where the kitchen's going to be oh you know what I'm gonna turn you off for a bit how's the oh. yeah all right well 
Oh, thank goodness. That rain was driving me insane. Um... I don't really know. I am paralyzed by indecisiveness here. And I'm trying to figure out what, is, what it is I want to do. I think that um, what I'm going to do is put it... It's this thing. This is in my way. So we're going to move this somewhere else. I, I can't... I'm having to work around it, and I'm, I'm not happy about that. So I'm going to move this over here, right? Like that. And then over here. This is much better. And I think this will make more sense. So if I put this, like, right here. Now, which, which is the intake and the outflow? You know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just going to have to live with it. Or I put it right here. But I think putting it right here makes sense. Oh, yeah, look at you. Oh, oh, look at how shiny it is. Oh. Hang on, hang on. We got to do this right. A man and his tank. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, that is really neat. <laughs> oh, no, not map. I was trying to hit it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. V. No, stop. Okay. Um, let's leave the light on so we can at least take a look and see what we're looking at here. We've got a, uh, AC, uh, is that 220 or 320? That's 220. And that's three something. So yeah, this is different power inputs, which is a bit weird, but that is, uh, so, okay. I'm going to assume that the inflow is the one that's on the left here, right here. So when you're looking at it, this is this side, and this is this side. So this isn't too bad. Okay. I think the next thing I want to do is start... Oh, are you feeling... I need to do the um, connect into it. So I want to build uh, one of these guys right here. So I've got the power and mass. What do I need? A couple more pipes, some scrap, and some ingots. Okay. A couple more pipes. Some scrap. I'm just going to take half my scrap. And you guys are really loud. But we're climbing. And an ingot. We've got lots of ingots, so we're fortunate on that one. Do 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 do. Do you think I'm gonna need more pipes? I do. All right, now, uh, we go in here, and then we go, not you, not you, yes, you. 80 mass, okay, no problem. Uh, problem? Actually, it isn't a problem. We're just gonna, we're just doing it. Yep. I don't, I don't need that many nails. <laughs> I'm serious, I don't. Okay, craft one of you. Nice. And then we can, um, oh man, it'd be, I was hoping to be able to drink out of this, but yeah, it's raw water. It's going to make you sick. We might have to do it just, to, uh, whatever, for whatever reason. See if we can even do it. All right. So we've got ourselves a little, uh, you know, a thingamabobber and we could presumably, can we connect this? Actually, you know what? Can I connect it directly? Like this, and just, it's in the water, and... Yeah, see, there's your little filter, intake filter and stuff. Oh, wow. Did that actually do something? Inflow pump, it's not connected. I don't know if it likes being connected directly to this thing. So what we might need to do is we might need to make, uh, we're going to need these guys anyways. So there we go. Oh, adhesive. Okay. So more pipes. I forgot about you. That goes in here. Um, there we go. All right. Now, what was I thinking? 
uh, more pipes and adhesive. And then we got to make one of you at the at the very least. Uh, now you can move these. Uh, presumably. Oh, can I not move it? Okay. I, I'm, I'm guessing I need to, like, how I connect it to this thing. It is a little bit different. But it was blue. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just put you in the water right there. We'll get you in a minute. Got you. I gotta double check this. Inflow. Uh, am I getting it wrong? Uh, that's the outflow. Oh, for crying out loud. Water inflow. Oh. Well, that just sucks. <gasps> okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. I know what we're doing. <laughs> I know what we're doing. This is going to work. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're we're going there. We're going there. Should it snap? See, it's in the water right there. Is it just that it's a little bit too Yeah, you know what? We'll just uh we'll just leave it where it is. And then let's see. I, I'm just, just, we're just messing about here, trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, so you need that in order to connect it. Okay. All right. I think this is going to set how we're going to have to do these things. All right. So that means I, what I want to do is I want to take this bad boy. And I want to move it to be... Well, let's just put it right there for now, and then we'll grab it again. And then we'll move it over here. Like so. And then we take... Uh, this is the intake on this side, right? That's the intake. All right. And then we can take the this guy right here. And do that. And then, essentially, what we can... I think we can eventually move this somewhere. But I'm going to just put this, like, right here for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy. Um, and we're going to move him. So he's right here. Really? Is it, hang on, is it because that one's there? Or it has to be in a certain... Depth. Interesting. Okay, how about this? No. I gotta do it this way. Let's do it this way. Then what we can do is we can rotate this around towards us and go right here. Is that what is that doing? Is that actually doing something? Well, we can stick this right here, right? Like that. Then we take this one.
that. Right? And then we go in here. And we can see that the intake is, is going on. We can turn it on. Start filling it up with water. Nice. Gurgle, gurgle. Boil and bubble. Double trouble. And then let's see if we can make one of these guys. We have everything we need. So we just need a... Uh, well, we don't have everything. Oh, it got dark. Do you see what happened here? Are you still... No, we're off. Good. Good, good, good. And you're loading power into my system. We could probably uh, keep that going. There we go. And then what do we... We need a metal plate. So uh, we should, I think, have the ingredients on us. There we go. Then we can basically make... Uh, let's just... Uh, the goal is I want to get at least one plant bed hooked up. Right? So I'm just trying to figure out what it is. Well, once once I've got all this sorted out, then I it's, it makes, it'll makes it make a lot more sense and I'll be able to um, clean this all up a little bit. Because, yeah. Um, all right. We need to make one of you. Is it... How... Is... I, it's this guy is making gurgling sounds. <laughs> but it is consuming power doing this. 0.3. Which. Okay. Okay. I mean, we're climbing. We're, we're consuming a lot of power right now, but at least we're actually. Yeah, we're in good shape. One thing we're going to have to get a handle on, like one example of something I could do is I could move. Oh, it said you could do this. Let's let's give this a shot. I mean, I could do it like this, right? Now it's kind of hidden, right? A little bit more uh, sort of whatever. And is it still... Yep, it's still gurgling. Nice. 15 mils per minute. Nice. Uh, oh, did it make the, the Huzuma wants it? It did. Okay, and then in this, we can actually... Uh, we can turn on that light. Oh, no. Give us a bit more visibility over here. Uh, and then what we can do is open that bad boy up and then here's your upgrades and install oh we need 50 mass to install the plant bread that plant bed spring oh my goodness seriously game how much mass did i what do i have left we really have been burning through mass haven't we well i got a lot of nails i know there's other things i could do but um is that enough? Yes. All right. Where did it put it? I put it over here. Where's the in? Oh. Oh, boy, oh boy. I'm going to have to rearrange some things here. All right. Well, we're going to do it. Let's uh, move this. I'm going to say, uh, we're going to take this bad boy right here. Oh, okay. Oh, God dang it, I can't tell what direction it is. And then we can move it. Well, let's let's put it right here. Oh, that's that'll Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So, take you. And then we put you over here. A little space between them. Like this, we'll 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 have to spread these out a little more and probably come up with maybe even come up with a new arrangement for how this is all set up. Right now they're set up because they're over here because they're close to the water and I can just water them along here. I can pick stuff up and you know uh, fill up canteens and then water them water them very quickly. This changes everything, so I don't have to be held by that whole um, thing. So this. We'll have to look, uh, maybe think about how we're going to change this. In the meantime, I'm going to need another pipe. 
I'm gonna need one of you. Need more metal pipes. I see in my future a need for many, many pipes. <laughs> ah. Beautiful night. Oh, let's take a look where the rogues are. None up there. Oh, by the way, I know that the plan was to go after these guys, and we're still going to do that. Oh, look, there's a there's a, a hunter coming down to go fishing. Uh, we're still going to do this, um, but yeah, th I, this is an update video, and I just thought, oh, I have to do the update. So, okay. Now, are you done? Good. All right, so... Presumably, I would then just take the, yeah, that right there. Then I would want to. Um, in reality, I think what I want to do is come over here. Like this. Right? And then this, what I would do is I would move. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Um, I would move the plant bed in a little bit. I love the, the dripping sounds and everything. It's really cool. Uh, okay, we're going to put you there. Then we're going to take this. And then I'm going to put... And this uh, visibility is not great. And then I'm going to put you here. <laughs> like that. Okay. In fact, that's a little closer closer than I would like. Oh man. Okay. Here's what we could do. We could do it from over here. Um. Oh man. Okay. You know what, guys? Seriously, you're all kind of in the way here. And so I think what we need to do is we need to we need to clear the decks you're all you're all kind of just hanging out getting underfoot you can go there and then we can take you and we can move you over here or even over here do 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 my fire went out. All right, that's fine. It is the next day. Holy moly, this took this this uh this whole operation. Oh, wow. You're, you're in the way too, buddy. So I think maybe we could just move you over. I don't know. Maybe here. There we go. And now we've got some a little bit of uh, clarity as to where we can go. So this one, what we're going to do is take this. Right? Over here like this. We're going to rotate it. Like that. Because we want the same orientation as it is right now. And then we're going to pull you back over here. Actually, we could pull you here. See the same orientation as before? <gasps> Mr. Bear outside didn't like that at all. You know what I forgot to check? And I really should have. They're fine. There's a wolf and a bear outside, and they're sniffing. They're sniffing. Okay, what are we going to do here? There's a few possibilities. That's why I'm kind of... Uh... All right, let's do this. You can go here. Okay, you know what?
Where are you? Where'd he go? Is that him over there? Get out of here! Man, you know, a guy's trying to work, and he's getting nothing but guff and trouble and derision from the the, 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 the peanut gallery here. All right, so the first thing we do is we, we I need, did I make another one? I think I need, a, need another one of these guys. I need another pipe, which we're going to get over here. Yeah, this is going to take a bit of time because we're, we're going to need to... Um, uh, we're gonna need to like get resources and build build up and I'm 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 pretty well I'm using a lot of what I already have in order to be able to accomplish just this basic setup. Uh, I'm not complaining. I this I'm perfectly fine with this. Um, if you're wondering why, like I don't I I want this facing into the base so I can walk up to it, and um, so that's why I'm having to kind of go this way and then this goes down into there and. It's fine, right? Because it is going to cross over a little bit. Like this, I'm going to I'm going to take this and I'm going to go that way, which is going to cross over that, which is a bit silly, but I, that is the way it is. So, okay. Did you make your thing yet? You did. All right. Let's see if we can get this to span that that whole thing. Go here, and then go to there. All right, that's the plan. And then the idea being I could have another one here and I could span to there. And then I can have another one here and maybe over here. And then I could run pipes, um, you know, like somehow go through them and, and you get the idea. Uh, but but this is the sort of the general gist of it. Now, it, is this gonna make it a bit awkward to, to pick? Not really. I guess it is a bit awkward. I'll have to th think a, a little bit about this, but let's take a... Oh, first of all, let's do this. All right. And see what the situation is with water. It's... Yeah, because they were full. And then we can plant another... Uh, actually, why don't we just do... Let's do this. One, two... And then we go in here and we set the sprinkler to automate and then it turned it on. Oh, we can't turn it on because it's already automated. Durr. Actually, what happens if we we just turn it on? There's uh water is already full. Okay, fine. There we go. So that's it. That's the um that is our water situation. Oh my goodness, that took a little longer than I expected. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I like the way that this is facing. I think the way that they've done it is, um, this is the side that the, here, we can turn you off actually. Uh, there we go. Uh, they, it, they're basically on the side, of, uh, same side as that. I could just as easily run this along here, rotate this around. Um, and then maybe, and I probably will, but, um, I don't know. I think this is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this whole situation. And you can see, look at that. You can see where the, where the water's running. There, not on this one, but it looks like it. Right there. Nice. So we don't have to worry about watering. Uh, fertilizing, we still have to water, worry about. All right, well, I'm gonna obviously have to figure out a situation for how we're going to organize all of this. Um, there's some things that we could do. Uh, I'm not gonna... Eh. I'm not gonna prioritize this, but um, I don't know. I think this is actually pretty cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the progress we made. We at least understand how it all works. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time.
You all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.